All right. So, you know Bentelec, right? The guy that makes a bunch of weird videos of him reacting and laughing at tweets and whatnot. This controversy bullshit, the reason why I'm so intrigued and actually, find, frankly, kind of laughing at it is because we're all just going to forget about it. Like, that's they always say the internet never gets. Yeah, the internet doesn't forget. That's true. You make a dumb mistake, it's going to come up eventually. Like with Jake Paul and Logan Paul. Like, his dumb bullshit is going to come back and haunt him. Even though we all forgot about it for a while and we still react to his shit. Eventually, it's going to come back to bite him in the ass again. And then it's going to go away. And blah, blah, blah. It's an endless cycle. And the reason why I'm so just laughing at this is because this is the first time where I genuinely feel sorry for the creator. And it's not because he did stupid dumb shit. He did dumb shit. Like, you can't just go to an OnlyFans model and just want to make a podcast that doesn't exist and try to get him to fuck you. That's not going to work, brother. Like, come on. But it's just, it's just funny because even though he did something bad, we're going to be all pissed for like a month straight. And then we're just going to go back to our normal lives. Because that's what the internet does. And it's hilarious to me that we're going to be all pissed about this creator doing something dumb. And then we're literally just going to fucking disappear. It's going to go away. And it's funny because this is what we do on the internet. We, we, we get pissed over something and then it just goes away. It just disappears. And we never talk about it again. <laughs> so it's funny to me that we're going to be all pissed about this. And then we're just going to forget about it. Like with only Jayus. Um, Matty Westbrock. That, that too, that, that I call I call it, um, I call it, um, what do I call it again? I call it Matty versus, um, no, I call, I call it Bella versus Matty or some bullshit. I think I call it Bella, Bella versus Matty or something. And this whole ass case between which one was in the wrong, you know, you don't cheat. That's one thing you don't do in a relationship. No matter how much you hate your wife or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or whatever, you do not cheat. But the funniest part about this whole case is that we just never gave a shit afterwards. Like, I still look at uh, Maddie's channel, but she's still getting this amazing support. Even though that motherfucker just cheated. Well, not just, but she fucking cheated. And it's funny because, you know, we're just going to forget about it. We're just going to forget about it after a while and then move on with our lives. And that's what I hate about the internet. Like, we get mad over this one thing, and then we just forget about it. And... And it's the same thing that happened with Maddie and all of them. She, they, she still deserves... Maddie still deserves to get her ass whooped. We should not even be watching her channel. F cheating is unforgivable. And it pisses me off. But with Ben Select, we're going to complain and complain and complain and do the same fucking bullshit. They both did something wrong. And guess what the internet does? We forget about it. And the, she, he's, remember, he's still going to get support from his... From, his fans or his whatever, his followers. Eventually, they're all pissed and all pissed and heated up. He's got to die down and we're going to go back and do their whatevers. Because I know we shouldn't dwell on the past, but hey, I'm going to cancel you. They cancel him. Then he comes back. And then people watch him again. EDP 445, that's the only, like, EDP 445, that's the only case I saw where they actually genuinely canceled him. They genuinely canceled him. They actually canceled him. And for some reason, with other people, we don't just cancel them. We just cancel them for a while and come back to their channel. Uh, EDP is the only case where every time he comes back, we get mad and try to push him away. And even on his own channel. On his own channel, people watch him. Like... We genuinely just don't give a flying fuck. Like, hey, I want you canceled. Don't come back. Comes back. And I'm like, oh, what's that fuck? Like, that's what it is going to be with him. Leave, don't come back. I came back. Okay, welcome back. I like, guess what it is. That's why this is what's, this is just the stupidity of our generation. We can't just cancel somebody and keep them canceled. We're going to come back and all hands up and on. It's bullshit. This is what I hate about the internet. We can't if we say we're gonna cancel someone, we're not gonna cancel them. We're just gonna go around and play fucking 
I don't know, some random... I don't even know how to explain it. Just about just play a whole game of follow the leader, you know? Like, oh, cancel this guy, okay. And then, and then, and then comes back. And, oh, cancel this guy, okay. Just come back. This is what it's going to be. We're just going to forget about it in a couple of weeks. So I don't know why everyone's fucking going crazy about the case. It's bullshit to me. It's bullshit.